So we got out this morning to go fly the Lockheed. We were gonna go shoot some approaches and, <coughs> and we couldn't because the oil overheated and we were having some low oil pressure problems and we ended up having to turn around immediately and, and land. And so we're, we've changed the oil because it was getting close time to change it anyway. So we changed the oil and we still, we've been having a problem with these oil coolers since I bought the airplane. Uh, in fact, the guy that owned the airplane prior to me, Joe said that he had problems with them as well. So we are looking into seeing if we can get some bigger oil coolers, but I'm, I'm thinking this is about as big as we're gonna be able to get in here. Um, and then we're also, one of the things that we're looking at is this oil scoop that, I mean, the air scoop that, that sits here, it sits right outside of the cowling. And we were worried about the fact that the way this cowling works, all of the hot air comes out uh, in between this baffle and, and the cowling, and it comes out around this, and we're worried about it going into the oil cooler. But after talking to one of the other guys that has the Lockheed, he did some experimenting. And he concluded that, that all of this heat stays up above the scoop. But I don't know if this is the same scoop that he has. I, I need to look into that. Um, but we're a little bit, we're, we're, we got to figure this out because this, this airplane's had high oil temp since we've had it. And on the hot day, it gets really, really hard. However, Christian's taken the scoop off so that we can see if there's something that has, that's blocking the oil cooler. And this is what we discovered. So here's the oil, sco the, the scoop sitting in the floor. And this is what the oil, the, the cooler looks like. So we most definitely have some issues here with going, getting in here and clogging this thing up. So we've got to get this cleared out. And then uh, once we do that, we'll, we'll put it back together and see if that makes any difference with the way all this works. But We've definitely found a problem here and hopefully getting this cleaned out will help with the cooling. And this is the oil cooler on the left engine and it just so happened that the left engine ran hotter than the right engine. And I think we have pretty much concluded as to why that is. So now the question is, is whether or not we can put some type of a, a screen or something on the front of this to keep that grass from being able to get all the way up into the oil cooler because you can't, you really can't see it. And so we gotta, we gotta look and see if there's anything we can do to, to fix this so that we don't have this problem going forward because it's obviously a big deal because that, that's an awful lot of stuff blocking that oil cooler. Also one other uh, issue on these oil coolers, these are seven inch oil coolers um originally th this thing came with five inch uh brass coolers um then some people upgraded them to six inch um and they still overheated with the six inch and then uh i don't know if this actually came off of a beaver or what oil cooler this is i'm gonna have to look into that and see what what this actually came off of but um according to some of the other guys that have these things um, the Beaver oil cooler was actually seems to be the best one. In fact, um, some of the guys claim they, they have, they have to wrap the oil cooler to keep it warm enough to, to fly the airplane because it actually cools the oil too much. So we'll look into that a little bit deeper and, but right now we're going to flush this thing out and, and get it nice and clean and then put it all back together and see if that helps with some of these problems. All right, so he's fixing to blow this out. We're gonna see how nasty it is. So not too bad coming through there, but we're gonna clean it out good with some brake cleaner or something. And we gotta look into what we can clean it with and try to get everything we can out of there. All right, so we got the uh, cowling everything put back on here, or the, the back cowling, and we've gotten the air scoops put back in. We got everything cleaned up. 
Um, we're gonna look into making some kind of a screen or something on here to at least catch the big stuff so that we don't get all that grass and stuff up in there because you can't you can't get your arm up in there to try to clean it and it's a pretty big pain in the butt to take this off. So we're gonna try to see if we can get this fixed where we don't have this problem again going forward. So we will get that figured out. We're gonna take it out here. It's about 90 something degrees outside. Um, so we got the everything, the oil changed everything back in here and we're gonna take it outside here in just a minute and go give it a, a run around the patch and see if the oil temps are any better. And hopefully that will be our the brunt of our problem. I'm really not thinking that that's gonna be all of our problem because of the fact that it has been running high oil temps the whole time that I've had it and these things have been cleaned before. So, um, but I'm gonna hope that the problem we were having this morning was the cause of that. Because one thing that did happen uh, yesterday, we were flying this thing yesterday and they just cut the grass out there. So a lot, a lot of that grass that was in there looked fairly, fairly fresh. So I'm hoping that that's what the problem was. And, but again, we'll know shortly. All right, so at the moment we have, our oil pressures are perfect. And the fuel pressures are both working now, which is odd because we've we've had issues with the oil pressure. I mean the fuel pressure. So now the fuel pressure is working too. So I wonder if if the somehow the fuel pumps weren't putting out their full amount because of the oil. All the temps are good down here. The fuel pumps are on, mixtures, props are full, flaps are up. Cooling fan is on. That makes a difference. 10 7 lakes traffic, Lockheed departing runway 187 lakes. How are you departing without me? Well, there's a storm coming and we wanted to get this thing tested out. It just called me to come back. Where are you? Over the lake area. How's Midget doing? Hey, he's having a blast. Make him do the radio calls when he comes back in. He did them when we left. He'll do them when we come back. All right. So I guess we'll go shoot approaches another day. Here we go. All right, so everything's looking good. We're in the green. 30 inches, 2,900, going to 36. RPMs are good, oil and fuel are good. Oil and fuel are good. Gears coming up. on the RPM. Seven Lakes traffic, Cessna 172 is crossing midfield, uh, runway 3678. You go, boy. Hey, Christian, who's the chick with you? <laughs> <laughs> the nine year old right. girl? You got it. Alright, so we have Two bad EGT probes on the right engine. Everything on the left engine is looking good. Our gallons per hour is sitting around 33 on the left, 31 on the 32 on the right. Next, Alan, see where he's. He called me a minute ago. Who? Alan Fletcher. I'm gonna come on back to 21. And look at the oil temps. That better? They're, they've never been that low. They had trash up in there. That was with the trash. And 7 Lakes traffic. Cessna 172 is left downwind, runway 36. 7 Lakes. Well, some of that, so reaching up in there and trying to clean it at annual is not going to cut it. We're going to have to take them completely off. 
But I'm going to have to, I want to come up with some kind of way to stop that because that's crazy. Because that's a pain in the butt taking those things off. If, and really, we could have just sucked more grass in it just now taking off and we don't even know it. Yeah. But holy cow, I've never seen the oil temps down that low. I'm not minding this. The only thing that I need to do is I need to figure out how to move it around a little bit. So if I can get it a little bit more centered in the, on the yoke, I think this is going to work with, for my iPad. And then I'm not messing with the compass and stuff up here. So one thing I want to look at after you get through screwing around is I want to check and see what the what the uh, direction looks like. Because right now we're on 10 degrees and we're about 10 degrees up here. pretty good on the radio. He does sound like a little girl there. <laughs> what time you said that? All right, so we're at 250 or 255, and this is showing two or 273. This, okay, this is messed up because I'm showing 270 right now, and that's nowhere close. And look at the airplane on there. See that one's flying straight, and that one's flying sideways. Midgets. All right, so we have been flying around here for about 15, 20 minutes, and the oil temps are awesome. They're better than they ever have been. So we'll mark that up to a mistake on our part for not disassembling the oil coolers because I, I just never would have thought that we would need to do that. But um, so that's something that we need to make sure we're doing in the future. The oil pressures are good. The fuel pressures are perfect. The temps are better than they ever have been. They're, the left engine is like 60 degrees Celsius, and the right is 70, 80 degrees Celsius. So I've never seen them run this cool since I've owned the airplane. So we've evidently had some material on those oil coolers the whole time, and we should have disassembled them to, to see what was going on. So anyway... The other thing is, is we put that new GMU-11 in here for the 650, and it appears to be running correctly um, a, a lot better than the earlier one. The only thing that I have a question on is, it's funny here, I'm a little boy making radio calls, but the, uh, the only thing that we've got to look into is when I turn the beacon off, it gets off, and I don't know what's going on with that. So. And like right now, roll, roll out for a second. So right now we're on 330 degrees or so, and I'm on 300, or with 335, and I'm on 343 over here. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty dang close now, so better than it has been. So we're going to go ahead and land and put this girl up, and we'll go fly the 180. I got an important message. Kimberly uh -oh. just texted me. She said she made cookies. Uh oh. So we're going to be unhealthy and knock a few more li years off our lives tonight eating sweets. How many are you going to eat? I can't say. Are they hot chocolate chip cookies? I have no idea. That sounds, yeah. she's, she did stop on the way home earlier from Buckner's and we picked up chocolate chips. So. Uh oh. Oh boy. Sounds like Those are, If they're hot chocolate chip, I can't put a, a limit on my quantity. <laughs> so. Jacob is out flying with Christian, getting some instruction, shooting takeoff and landings in the 172. And we are going to put the one, the Lockheed up and get the 180 out and do some flying in it. But I'm very, very happy with what is going on with these oil temps because, uh, like I said, it's hot out here and and these things haven't done this good in ever. 
Just pull it. That's good. Now I want about 90 on the speed. I don't want to get any faster than 100. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this back to about 19 inches or so. Alright, they're down. Get you another notch of flaps. Alright. Left base. Traffic Lockheed is left base runway 36 only. Alright, I want about 90 miles an hour. Yeah, pull it back a little bit. Yeah. Alright, at that point you can go ahead and get the props full. Hey, you guys gonna park uh, coming from the top side? Yeah, we'll just turn in. Uh, we can go either way. Okay, I'm right, don't don't pull that off. Just out. leave those in. Leave, leave, leave about. Yeah, do we want full flaps? Yeah. All right, but I want 90. I don't. You're you're way too fast to put all those flaps down. So at this point, I want about 80 miles an hour. 80. Eight, about 80, 85. All right. Got full flaps. Yep. Full flaps. Two in a green. Mixtures and props are full. Flaps are down. Just hold it. Five hundred. Let her fly. Let her go on down. All right, now start pulling off. Just, just let her get on down. Oh, there you go. Right, oh, pull her down there. Push forward. Don't let the tail hit hard. Okay. 